Well, hello everyone. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video here. I got a package in the mail on my very first thing that I ordered uh, through the mail on this uh, um, train layout that I'm doing. So I want to unbox it with you uh, on camera. I'll uh, set you down here a little lower so you can see uh, kind of what I'm looking at. This uh, is a package that I ordered from uh, um, Pfeiffer Supply. And uh, this showed up on my, my my mail today. Actually, they said they sent it out on um, Friday, which today is Monday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days to get here. I thought that that was a pretty good uh, um, delivery time. So uh, let's open this up and uh, let's uh, see what's in here. I like... Uh, productivity of people that actually you know when you order something online sometimes it takes forever to get it and you don't want it to take forever for something to show up so uh, let's uh, see what uh, is in here um, the first thing that I see is of course uh, the receipt and he signed it to thank you Michael on it uh, so he's thanking me for it so uh, basically uh, what I ordered is um, this is a uh, concrete tied double track super elevated curve and there are uh, two pieces in each one. So that's two curves. This is also a super elevated curve. So that's four pieces of track. This is a super elevated curve, so that's six pieces of track. That's what I need to go around one end of my table. This is a uh, um, concrete tied double track super elevated easement curve, and uh, it's a double track, and so you can use it for left or right. So I got one for each side of this layout. And uh, that's the other one because uh, easement allows it to ease up into the curve and not just come from a sharp turn into a turnout. Then, of course, he put uh, some nice uh, packaging inside the, the box. So we'll uh, use this box for something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pause the camera and I'm going to turn around and show you how I'm going to connect this uh, curve here. And then I'll have to order uh, just two more of these uh, sets to... Uh, do the other side of my la my loop here so i'll show you that here in a little bit well, i'm going to go ahead and uh, open these up and uh, make my uh, curve radius for you all to see um, this is actually going to be 27 to the outside and uh, 24 to the inside. So I got my two pieces. And these are just regular Cato. These are not uh, the Unitrax. And they, they, they snap together pretty easy, as you can see there. So I'm making sure that I'm opening up uh, everything that I need. It'll help me to understand where my actual 90 degree goes as well. That, that'll be a great help. So, looks like I'm straight now, as you can see here. I've used four pieces to make my degree. And on the uh, Unitrack that I had, I had to use six pieces to make that track. And it's actually coming out to where I originally had my concept going. But because I need to use easement track, I got to go in here and I got to find the easement track pieces, easement track. And so I might have enough here dramatically to do um, both sides without the easement tracks. So I'm going to put my easement track on this side. And now we've got one left over for the other side and snap this piece out of here that's the other uh, easement so now I can actually make my curve for the other side minus my two easements that I need to make my 90 degree elbow 
So, Bay, what what do you think about uh, the, these radiuses? They're they're pretty cool, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, these are short of time ago. Awesome. So, uh, a, a great thanks going out to uh, Mike Pfeiffer from uh, Pfeiffer Supply. You can find him on the web. You can also find his uh, YouTube channel on uh, YouTube. This is a pretty cool concept. So, uh, but uh, you can't use uh, Unitrack in with Track. You have to specifically go with uh, Track. So when I order my next pieces, they're gonna have to be in Track, not Cato Unitrack. There's a big difference there. So uh, basically that's the concept. And uh, let me put my uh, locomotive on here. Cato track, that's this uh, kind of track that we have here. I'm going to pause the video a little bit and I'm going to hook up my my power to this and I'll watch you guys just watch it come around the loop a little bit. Well, as my wife says, I'm going to talk to my friends again. So I'm using an old controller and uh, a different uh, kind of a track to hook this up, but let's uh, check out this little locomotive run around this track and I'll show you uh, how it, it's elevated here in a little bit. Let me let me run it backwards It's kind of important that, that you see that so um, let me bring the camera over the top and uh, watch the uh, how it rotates to the inside of the track. You see how he's bent there versus being straight. Let's watch him come backwards. See how he's elevated? And then he's going to come out more of a, to a straighter area. That's uh, um, the elevated track. So when we actually get all the same track on here and we've got a loop, it won't uh, run off the track at a high speed coming around the corner. And of course, this is going to be elevated. Let me see if I can show you that a little bit. Let me put my camera back down here. Sorry about the wobbliness. So you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take uh, him off of there. We'll set this uh, over. So basically uh, what I'm going to do to elevate this is I'm going to start out with uh, some one inch stuff and he'll actually start elevating from back over here. So my idea is to build him up so he's actually um, pulling up to a 4% grade. All right, so that's the concept. Let's... Uh, measure this out because that's kind of the idea that I wanted to lift him up. So he's going to start out at uh, zero back in here somewhere and then he's going to be at about an inch and a half but that might be too high to start with for my concept. So if I start him out right there then I don't have to bring that start loop back here. My start loop can start uh, back here in this area. So uh, I'll bring them over here, and then it gives me about the right distance that I wanted for my uh, bridge. So when I build my bridge, I will make a wooden bridge that will come from here to this area. So I'll have a bridge um, that will rise up above this, which will be, oh, that's 10 inches, and that's another 10 inches, so 20 inches on a curve. So uh, let me uh, put my... Uh, uh, locomotive back on there and let you see how he runs up that little grade. So basically my friends I have it uh, elevated and I got some risers that are going to be coming. So uh, right now in uh, 10, 20, 30 inches basically I am up three quarters of an inch. So basically it's going to rise an inch with a four percent rise. So let's uh, show you that it actually climbs that rise at, at, an, at, a, at a slope. And then uh, let's uh, bring it back down the, the, the mountainside. And uh, you can see uh, that it actually makes, makes the trip. Let me uh, go re really slow with it 
and show you uh, kind of the concept if I was uh, pulling out of uh, say a crossing or something and let's uh, see if it'll uh, make that little climb. That's uh, at just barely enough speed and uh, let's speed it up here a little bit more. So you can see even at a slow speed it's still it's still climbing that uh, 4% grade and you can tell how it's uh, leaning to the inside of the track. Let me run it back down the track here. That's the concept of the rise that I wanted. So basically to uh, build this uh, river in here, I'm going to take and uh, bring this down and angle from about here down underneath to make that look like that's coming up higher just by the, the visual look of it. I started uh, um, making the river banks here, but I want to make this look like this is more steeper. So uh, that'll, that'll be seen in another video. So my friends, thank you for watching this unboxing video. This has been a great uh, thing for me to get the first thing that I ordered. Um, we'll see you in the next step.